and welcome to Mickey Art. My name is Michelle Edhouse and today I'm playing with paint. That's what I do on this channel. I have fun with acrylic pouring. I play with colours and styles and techniques. Um, sometimes I share what magic uh, recipes I've used. Sometimes I'm doing experiments and I'm bringing you along for the ride. So uh, if you don't like chatting, turn off the sound. If you want it faster turn up the speed and if you don't like me at all go away find someone else who you do like how's it getting better than that <laughs> all right so what i've got set up here is my children's pottery wheel it's a battery operated pottery wheel and i've just built up a couple of little bits of wood here that just lift the center that spins above the edges because it's designed to catch the water <laughs> um, which of course we don't want to catch the water we want to let the paint spray and as you can see all around I have built little walls I do actually have paint spots on my walls I have accidentally got paint on paintings before gear yeah, not fun anyway so uh, what I thought I'd just show you next is how I get my record to stick to this so that when you turn it on it doesn't fly off which has been done before as well <laughs> learn from my experience my friends um so all i do is take a little bit of tape and put it into a roll and i'm hearing laurie out there going where's the black tape my husband pinched it I don't know why he doesn't have enough in his 50 roll packets but it's not here <laughs> so all you do is you take the piece of tape roll it over it's on itself with the sticky side out and you get this little sticky tube which sticks on both sides and then you can just take your record and I've got a little bit of like parcel like little wrapping paper tape um, across the bottom so that the paint can't fall through and then I can still see through that hole to line up on my little cross hairs in the center there so hopefully ah but sometimes I stick it down before I've lined it up and pick up the tape just like that ah oh, so much fun so excuse my head while I Find my dots. Where, where is my... See, this tape that I'm using is actually. I'm probably not centered. I can't see. It's it's that looks almost like. Um, doctor's tape it's not completely clear if you're using clear stuff you can see through it I need different tape but the cool thing now is I can just turn that on uh, and it just spins around and around and because it's not even it's going to make some funky stuff but first of all we need paint so I'm going to start off with a puddle of my house paint. Um, I use spring paint from Bunnings, which is an indoor-outdoor acrylic. It's very cheap, um, which is why I use it. And mix it with Floetrol water and PVA glue. There are links in the description below that talk about which have videos where you can check out what that's about next i'm going to put in some Payne's gray so the white really is just a puddle to help it skid across the surface next color that's asked to play today none of these have got silicon in them we'll see once we've spun it whether it wants to have silicon in it. And then we've got some bronze. I 
Okay, so we've got kind of like a bullseye there. Kind of cute. A few ear bubbles. Let's get rid of those to start with. If you're just coming across acrylic pouring for the first time, there's lots of links in the description to what I'm doing, what I've mixed, how I've mixed. Um, I've got an Amazon shop set up with the listings of all the stuff that um, I use. So you can check that out and then go to your own shops. Or if you'd like to use the affiliate link, I'd be super grateful. Costs you no extra. And um, I receive like 4% commission for referring you. Um, and that sure helps my channel. So... What am I doing next? Um, 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 I'm not sure. What I'm going to do, what I was kind of thinking, which I should really have put them layered into a cup and then poured them out, which I didn't do, so it doesn't happen. Um, I'm going to play. Just gonna drag over. Oops, picked up a bit more white than I had anticipated. This is gonna be different than I planned. <laughs> Let's see what happens. So now I'm gonna put a little bit of silicon on my finger. and flick that onto that pile. As you can see, hopefully, it's creating little cells, pushing down through the layers of paint. And then I'm gonna scrape again. really noticing quite a wobble on that side so just drag that paint back into the middle give it a little torch to bring some of that silicon back up So this is a butane flame torch for those of you that are new. It just it's not touching the paint, it's just warming the paint. And then by warming the paint it allows the silicon to come back up. But we've only actually had one silicon cell, maybe two. Let's spin it. Let's see what happens. It's always the fun part. Let me back out this fraction. You ready for this? Three, two, one, uh, maybe go. Not quite there on the edge. Let's just give it a little bit of a wet space to spin on. Another quick spin. torching. Do we have any silicon going to come up this time? Where did all my silicon go? We had lots on there. You saw it, didn't you? Wow. Okay. Not pleased. Come back to me, silicon. Did you see where I put it down? Because I can't find it. 
I'll have to use this one. Oh, there it is. So this one is um, one I got off Amazon. I think. No, it's not. This one is the Montmartre. bit thicker than the Durex Play Perfect Glide. Hmm. Not sure I should have put the white in. Really not loving it. There's all my bronze down the bottom. again oh check out that whirlwind that is funky Still not much silicon showing up. It's so funny. You can hear someone out saying, but mix it with your paints, it'll do better. It's not what I wanted to create though. Let it dry. Like this. Bearing in mind, this is all bronze. Now we've got this. There's some green showing through down here. It's not my favourite piece. But it's saying stop, so I'm going to stop. Be willing to hear what your paintings have to say and that will really make your day. <laughs> Alright guys, I'm going to go. I'm really getting my mojo back again. I'm going to have some more pa paint play time and you'll see that over the coming days. So, um, as with all my videos, I'm going to let this dry and show you the end. Throw, show it to you dry in three two one okay it's not dry this is straight after the bit that you just saw but as i was cleaning up i saw these beautiful creations on the um on the flick off my walls that i built and i just wanted to show them to you and hopefully try and capture some of them on capuchon check these out aren't they beautiful i like i like a lot so for those of you that are new you take a cabochon you mount it on some poster putty on a stick so you've got a handle flat side showing polish it on your shirt before you start and then pick a spot any spot and drop it in
and you just lay it down just like that um, and whatever touches it picks up check this out if it will focus hello focus for me it's so not doing it <laughs> there we go look how pretty that looks and I will show you these after they've dried as well but let's go on and get another one I like to lay my cabochons out in a tray like this with shiny side down so I can just come in and pick them up <laughs> and go again it's so much fun um, I'm actually gonna go in right next to where I was before the cool things is If you don't like them you just wash them off if you do like them you glue them into a pendant holder and away you go and then there's a patch over here oh, sorry there's a patch over here that I'm gonna grab with just a plain round one bearing in mind that these that's copper in there so it'll be interesting to see how shimmery that is when it's dry kind of looks like little flame people or something I'm not sure this isn't very thick and so what the thicker your paint is when you're dipping into it the better result you get um, but yeah, I'll be back to show you the dry results shortly. Ta-da! We're back! And I think I've got that up a different way. So it's a couple of days later. And it's almost dried like this. So close! If you look on, a, on the angle at the centre there, you can see it's still... A little bit wet in the center I'm not gonna touch it and show you <laughs> but if it was completely dry that center point where the spindle of the record player would normally come through would be um, nice and tight like it is around the label um, but it's not it's still a little puddle in there in fact if I run my finger over the sellotape underneath you can see it moving <laughs> anyway it's I look at it, how that bronze has come out it is stunning the whole piece has especially this area here has that bronze glow about it all the little cells have bronze circles in them they look stunning and then we you've got the the twister through the middle I like that it really does to me like if you put it there let's see if we can brighten that up a little bit yeah um, to me it looks like a landscape perhaps with a road through it 
um, a sky line and then the twister coming through maybe this is the mark that the twister has been along who knows I hope that's not traumatic for anybody that has been at the effect of a twister but I really like it as it as it is um, it's really really funky the um, the black that we had on the outside is still a little bit there but that's it's not record that is actually black paint so I'm okay with that um, and the green look at the green it's just hiding in there saying hello and then you've got the green and the bronze have done some really funky stuff if I can get it to focus and in here together they've blended quite nicely so I like it I like it a lot um, so let's have a look at how the cabochons came out uh, I don't remember which order I did these in so let's we'll, we'll just I'll just show you them <laughs> it's no that way maybe there we go hello I want you to focus on my hand and then stay focused while I zoom in come on nope it doesn't want to yeah there we go so it is captured so you can see the glitter from the bronze in there sorry about the window reflection but that's what you get on glass I really like it, it, it it's very organic looking and then let's switch over to this one this one's got a lot more intricate detail again it's got the shimmer from the bronze oh there you go it's just looks almost like a sandy rock garden kind of look to it it's so pretty and then the last one that's the one I said looked like flame people kind of looks like people sitting around a dinner table maybe ghosts what do you guys know they look cool so there we go three very funky looking cabochons that I really like and then a very cool if it will now focus down there there it goes um, record for those of you that are new to my channel and um, aren't aware of it I do have a video uh, on my channel on how to hang records I also have videos on how to resin them how to turn them into clocks um, there's lots of stuff about records um, if you go to my page and um, on the playlists there is a playlist for record art and they're all in there so go have a look through that list uh, what else is possible I carried on after this one and pulled another painting so that'll be coming in the next few days it's a bit bigger and taking a bit longer to dry so it'll be a few days before the next video comes out but um, how does it get better what else is possible and I'm super excited to be playing with paint again yay all right I will see you again in the next video and I will be going live again sometime soon and I'll let you know when that will be bye bye